What is up, Scrub Fam? I am back! It's been a while since I did a deck profile, but if you've been following the Patreon and reading the articles and seeing all the decks we've been putting together, focusing on consistency, focusing on purity, reviewing the deck list from, you know, talking with Rob Russo, with talking with my peers, and looking at just the way the format's shaking up and kind of taking pieces of what his deck did and looking to kind of take it to the next level or take it to the next step or focus on things I could either counter it or just work really well within the metagame just by taking some of the same principles. This is the deck that I came up with. Before I get into that, let me give a shout out to my sponsor, Alec Pastrana, Beard Collectibles. Best shop owner on the freaking planet. Can't tell you guys enough. But anyway, just so you know, the new hotness. 3XG shirts are available on beardcollectibles.com. I'll be posting a link down in the comments. You can get white, navy, blue like this one is, or you can do black as well. I'm going to be mailing these out to the Patreons ASAP. The Patreons ASAP so they can go ahead and get their shirts in time for whatever events they want to wear them for. But in general, I'm super hype about everything. Thank you guys so much for all your support. And thank you guys so much for just sticking with me with this content. I know that it you know, comes out as uh, frequently as I can make it happen. I've been working really hard to bring it to you guys, and so I appreciate your support and everything you've given me. So let's go ahead and jump into this fresh deck profile. Also, just know that following this deck profile, there's actually going to be a video of a game that I played with the deck itself. So you guys can actually get a feel for it and see what happened and took place because this deck started as a theory. I played some games with it and then in general, it's been really solid so far. So I went ahead and posted a game with this deck profile too. So you guys will be able to watch that too. So anyway, let's go ahead and start with the blue cards. So the thing is about this deck is I wanted to actually do like a heavier blue count because the way I wanted the energy to be better dispersed and I didn't want to play any black cards. And I know that sounds crazy because of how powerful black cards are, but the thing is, is when you're playing SS3 Goku, your energy is a very important thing. You need to be able to make sure that you can hit your appropriate cards at the right time. And so I went with a certain number of ratios to kind of guarantee that it happened. So the biggest thing is, number one, getting Oath's Power Tapion online ASAP. And so this costs two blue on your second turn for you. And this is going to be a card that generates a ton of tempo advantage for you. Because the way this is going to work, this is going to come down. You're going to target your opponent's battle card that they invested energy into, top deck it for them. You're then going to awaken, flip, and then now you've blanked their draw step for their turn, which provides a huge advantage for you. So not only along with that, so that's the reason why we have 28 blue cards in the deck. We have 18 green and then 4 red. And we have to play Unbreakable. Unbreakable and Cincy Bean are basically peanut butter and chocolate for SS3, and he gets to have access to them both. So essentially, you always get to play with 8 super combos. You get to play with the 4 Raging Spirits on Gohans, which honestly... I'm not going to front with you. Raging Spirit, Sun Gohan, and the Legendary Flute is probably the best interaction in any SS3 deck. Just being able to combo with your Raging Spirit, Sun Gohan, go back to your turn, swing with it, and then flute back to hand, as Rob Russo explained in his video with me, it's it's just too powerful. You know, he, he you're drawing a card, you're defending yourself, you're getting to reuse it over and over again, you're just getting a ton of advantage. And so, ideally, the way this deck wants to curve is turn one, honestly, you just want to have your two energy up, and you want to have access to a full power energy and access to something like a Raging Spirit Sun Gohan or an Unbreakable Super Saiyan Sun Goku to protect your life total on turn one. That's what you want on turn one. Turn two, you then want to deploy your Oath's Power Tapion to Awaken. So, Oath's Power Tapion, top deck their thing, Awaken, draw two, then draw two from your life, then Awaken, draw two more, and then now swing with your leader, and then start to amass card advantage. Because once you start to dig through your deck, you're going to start finding all your threats and then all your pieces to keep you alive and just keep you ahead. So, after you play an Oath's Power Tapion, you're then going to have access to a bevy of things. So you have your six four drops, so three combo killer on Ilaza, three Kami's power piccolo, so you're going to be able to hit those on time whenever you need to. And then after that, you have Divine Vanquisher Beerus. So Beerus is going to be the finisher in the deck. What I really like is you can de de deny your opponent a lot of tempo before you deploy this, and if you get a combo killer on Ilaza out and then a Divine Vanquisher Beerus, you're really doing it. Your opponent's having to give up a lot of cards, and if they want to combo over it, they're having to give up a ton because they're going to have to combo over the combo killer on Ilaza. I mean, the Divine Vanquisher Beerus and the Scar Additional card because of combo killer on Ilaza. And then Kami's Power Piccolo is just your removal source, so he's always going to be able to come down and kill a thing. And then we have cards that are kind of like curve fillers. And so I have one, two, three curve fillers in the deck, four energy boosted Majin Buu. This is great whenever you have just any energy left over on your turn. So let's say you have to wait a turn to do your Oath's Power Tapion just because the way your energy lined up. You can then do your Oath's Power Tapion and then fill the last energy like the last energy that you have open with an energy boosted Majin Buu. And then you get to maximize your energy for that turn and continue digging through the deck. And then it's the same thing with Nail. So let's say you have six energy and you deploy a four drop combo killer on Ilaza. You then play the Nail, draw the additional card, and then 
you're really doing it again because now you're getting another attacker who's providing you card advantage and helping you get through your deck and then it's something that your opponent's going to have to combo over with which really hurts them the combo killer on elaza so and then the other curve filler is uh iron hammer of justice android 16 this card is just always good especially in a deck that's playing a lot of cards that can kind of play the protect the queen aspect and your opponent's going to have to spend a flute or removal on it in order to get it off the board because if they swing into it with anything that's 15k and you sense to be in it for the turn this is going to keep on tapping and re wreaking havoc on their board so in general this deck plays really well you'll see that in the video that's posted after i played against a u7 gohan and the deck performed exactly how you draw it up uh, it's pretty insane but in general i really like the list so far i'm going to continue tweaking and brewing i hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile i know it was rather quick but i really wanted to go ahead and save enough time for you guys to be able to watch the actual gameplay of the deck itself so i didn't want to spend too much on this home pro the profile thank you guys so much i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you guys if you like this style of video where i do the deck profile and then the game afterwards go ahead and throw something down in the comments give me a like thumbs up whatever subscribe go to patreon become a patron whatever you have to do but in general thank you guys again so much for all your support i hope you enjoyed this video hope you enjoyed this deck profile and i hope you enjoy the game next okay bye what is up scrub fam i am here Playtesting the deck from the channel that was just posted, which is the blue-green SS3 deck. As I stated, I would be doing. This deck is pretty sweet in theory. And so I'm going to go ahead and try it out for you guys. So a few key things. Looks like we're playing against Universe 7 Gohan. A few key things to look at is what we're going to be mulliganing for. So honestly, we're looking for this card here. Everything else we don't really need. So what I will do is I'll hold up one of these. I'm going to throw these four back. Okay, this is actually not bad at all. Set of life. Roll a die. Roll the nine. He rolls a nine. Roll 12. Roll 17. So he can go ahead and go. It'll be interesting to see what build he's using, whether if he's using the same build as Danny to win. J Jackson, you okay? Oh, I see a Piccolo. Okay, and I'm ready to fight. That's good. So we'll be able to out-tempo him next turn as long as we open up a green. Because essentially we'll be able to deny him card draw, which is incredibly powerful for us. So he's getting an 18. Okay. Free Videl blocker and go. All right. Draw, activate, we'll pitch this extra Tapion. One, two, yeah. Charge these. And then we will say go. Let's see if he attacks first. If he attacks first, it's going to be huge for us. Because right now he's already starting to be low on cards. So I could really see him doing this. Unless he plays another Piccolo this turn to swing with. Ooh, okay. He's playing another one drop. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to negate. And we're going to actually blow up that one drop instead. Because we'll be able to swing at that on the crackback because we'll be awakened. So now he's at card disadvantage unless he plays a one drop and then swings leader. Nope. All right. Draw. Recharge this flute. Tap on. We're going to place that to the top of his deck. Just the ultimate tempo here. Just now we're going to be able to clear his one drop off the table. His Videl is back on top of his deck, so now we're really doing it here. We'll awaken, we'll draw two, and they'll swing here. And not comboing. That's fine.
Alright. Um, see if he wastes a card on this. Because we know his draw step's blinked. Because his draw step is just Fidel. So at this point we're really doing it. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, we'll pass turn back. He's way behind right now. Because we know he's drawing the Videl. And then he has to swing leader first unless he has another one drop. I think we just didn't I think we just deny him card advantage. This seems like the best play right now. Yeah. Zero cards in hand. Oh man. This poor man's Charge. Do you want to be greedy? I think we charge this. And then we swing lead. Draw. No combos. Play a boo. Draw. Play an Android 16, and then we will pass turn. Now this guy is severely behind on cards. He's down eight cards. He's got to deal with the Android 16 that's on the board. He's going to be able to combo with the Android 18 unless I can stifle that again this turn, which is possible. Is he charging? Because essentially, like, if we keep his hand low and we just get to play a Beerus, oh, this is great. Yeah, we're okay. I get to out tempo again. Yeah, we're just killing him on tempo. He's going to have to scoop soon. I think once the Beerus comes down. That'll kind of just be a wrap for him. He's got two cards in hand. He can't combo with the... He'd have to play another one drop. Okay, yeah, here we go. Uh, we'll charge a Sapion instantly. Play a Vanquisher Beerus. Swing you. Uh, this might be it. Yeah, wow. Okay, so he's down to zero cards in hand. He's going to take the two. Swing leader. He has to start trying to get cards back. Yeah, we just got to keep putting the pressure on him. We just have to put his, our foot on the throat right now. He's going to super combo. Okay, that's fine. One super combo down. And then we will pass turn. Leave up. Turn four, I think what he can do, he can't play the five drop go on this turn. He can play the three drop go on and get value off of that and then uh, awaken. He's going to be able to because I don't have any more negates. But a one drop's not really profitable right now unless he plays a three and a one. Yeah, here it is. He's going to target this. This is where he starts to gain card advantage back. Hopefully, we can close the door on him next turn. No negates. I think we're going to end up beaning here. Yeah, he'll draw two. Uh, 
Oh, it's just going to 15. Yeah. Or bean. He'll awaken, he'll untap two. And Don will link out, I think, and only kill four or less. Yeah, so we're going to be able to swing with our beers next turn. And then we'll also have the Ani Laza online. So we're pretty much just going to go for the full on blowout there. It was good of him to switch from the go the 18 to the Gohan because having to pay the extra energy just to get the combo to just isn't worth it. But now he has to play something else if he wants to be able to get value. Yeah, this board state's like pretty stellar against him. We might be going for the full blot here with the Raging Spirit. Unless he combos. But if he does combo, I'll just tandem. Ah, there he goes. Go 25. Now our board is expanding. Our turn. He's got shields up. Draw. We only need two green, so we can hold up blue. Honey Laza. And then we're just going to go face. Game is going to wind down real fast here. That's fine. Audio. That's three. You're going to sack your board? Okay. Swing lead. Draw. No combos. Swing lead. Go twenty five. Swing leader. No combos. If he combos, he's going to have to discard. So he's down to one card in hand. Um, I misplayed. I should have fluted the Videl back to his hand, so I could have gone for game. That's going to suck. Because, yeah, we'll swing. Got one card in him. I could be greedy and get a nail on the board. Twenty.
Oh, yeah, way ahead. Good game, man. Wow. That was awesome. So as you guys see, the deck actually ended up performing really well that game. Uh, that's against U7 Gohan. So that's going to be, of course, one of the decks that's going to be popular in the format. But in general, I really like this list so far. I think this list has a lot of promise. I hope you guys get a chance to test it out from the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, being able to add a game in there along with the deck profile. But anyway, thank you guys again so much for subscribing to the channel, as well as helping out with the Patreon. You guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. You guys have a great night. K. Okay, bye!